morning and welcome Petro Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason here on this Friday. I hope it finds you well out there. Man, what a day, the year of chaos. I told you. This is going to be an I told you show show. Uh, you guys got to wake up. You have, people don't really understand what is happening in the markets right now. And it's, it's something where... Um, really, really hard uh, for a lot of people to get their arms around uh, the, the gold right now up seventy dollars. You heard it right, gold's up seventy. We said twenty four hundred by the end of the week. We were wrong. Uh, right now it's twenty four hundred and twenty five dollars. Yesterday, all week, I told you. Silver closes above 28. It's going right to 30. Take advantage. Understand what's happening. Uh, silver's up a dollar sixty right now. Twenty nine dollars and eighty two cents. Yeah, what happened to twenty eight? It's gone. What happened to twenty? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Right now, we'll see based on what we see today. Uh, Monday will be another day, uh, and again, if we get sideways or up action and gold, gold's going to be 2500 next week. That, that's just what's going to happen, and, and you guys, I get it, right? You're like, gosh, look at this move. No, you don't get it. You don't get it. This is, this is the last gasp here. Yeah, inflation, they didn't fix it, but that's not the big problem. Nope, the big problem is debt. And it's not just us. Everybody, how about Fitch downgraded China to negative, right? Credit Watch negative, right? We're on negative. Everybody's negative. Japan, the yen, right? Can't, can't, they can't stop it from falling. Why? Because they've drowned us in debt. And, and now, you know, it used to be. We'd have a bad auction, bad treasure. We know maybe one every week. We had terrible auctions Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So yesterday was a 30-year auction. It was awful. Nobody showing up. And guess what? We got all these massive tails, and, and the banks end up having to buy it all. What happens, right, when there's no more money to buy it all. And I think gold and silver are telling you, you better get ready. This is something, we haven't seen this, these types of moves since going back to the 70s. This is the time, we didn't see this these types of moves during the financial crisis. Yeah, it, it moved. But it wasn't moving $100 a week every week. Yeah, something's going on. And, and and here's the big difference. The lack of physical supply. This is the big difference. And, and I, I was talking to Jason. I said, man, is somebody cornering the market here? Are they going to force like a zinc situation where all of a sudden they're like, okay, well, okay, you caught us. You busted us, right? We, we really don't have all this physical gold to deliver and they shut gold off and then you come back the next day and instead of it being 2500 it's 10,000 Jason could we see that I can't hear Jason yeah I can't Jack hear am you. I there Hello, there Jack. There you go. You're back. There we go. All right. Guy, get me turned on, dude. <laughs> Sometimes at the beginning of the show, Jack is getting warmed up like we are, and and uh, I had a little technical difficulties at the beginning of the show. But anyways, yeah, it's uh, you, you don't believe you're gonna, get, you know, nobody really thinks they're gonna get into a car wreck until you get into a car wreck, right, Joe? Uh, nobody, people that listen to this show, they know that hyperinflation is something that could happen, but no one actually, I think, really believes that it's going to happen until it happens. If gold is a leading indicator of inflation, and it's been doing so really well the last 20 years, what kind of prices are we looking at? And, and Joe's talking you know, talk, talk about, like, these markets are broken. They're starting to see things. Are, are big players trying to take deliveries, what, gold, what Joe is saying? 
And are they not going to be able to? Hey, we'll, we'll get you delivery in October. Well, when the price of gold goes up 450 bucks, you don't want to take delivery of your gold in October, do you? You're a little worried about what, uh, if that's going to uh, materialize. And Joe and I, uh, as Joe was saying, we were talking this morning, and, and we remember in China when the, uh, the nickel markets closed, too much price action, not enough delivery, right? And they, they closed it, and it opened back up. It was a huge price. They did whatever they could to manipulate and get it to stop. But that wouldn't happen with a... a, a we talk about, you know, bank holidays, right, Joe? Bank holidays were back when they actually had gold as money, when money was money, right? So gold is still money. So what happens if they have to shut gold off for a day, shut off gold for two days, and, and gold sitting at, let's say, $2,600? It's not, it's, you know, how many guys on YouTube are talking about how gold can go to these ridiculous numbers? Well, you shut gold off because delivery can't be had. It opens up two days later, and it's, it's 4X overnight. This is why you buy it now, and, and Joe, Joe and I are extremely disappointed in, in our customer base because you guys are like deer in the headlights. You're just sitting there and, and watching. We know we've got certain buyers that look like they're waiting for it to, okay, it'll cool off, and they'll come back 100 bucks, and I'll just jump in then. And uh, there are times where that just doesn't happen, and that's uh, 2,500 gold, gold looks likely. And I told Joe I could see the 2,400 range kind of languish next week for a few days, lull people into the, okay, it's stopping. And then we could see $100 or $80 or $90 on Friday, and it goes right past $2,500. This Friday, the Friday-Monday price action has not stopped for about a month, Joe. It's, it's incredible to watch. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason will be back after the break. 9510592 Joe and Jason wrapping up this Friday. The Dow is down 375 points as we got earnings uh, from the big banks uh, JP Morgan, Citi, Wells Fargo. And I'll, I'll just keep it simple for you. None of them were great. Citi had probably a better number than the others, uh, but all of them, same problem. Same problem, right? Hey, we're not making as much money. Profits are down 20%. Interest rates are too high. We've got too many writers. We've got to keep writing off credit cards and commercial real estate. And oh, by the way, I, I guess maybe uh, interest rates aren't going to go the way we thought. S&P's down 56. The NASDAQ's down 200. Uh, the 10-year note, man, yesterday it got almost to 460. It's down to 450 only because they're, you know, they're all worried, right? <laughs> right? Oh, wait a minute. Man, we got a problem here. Uh, oil's up $2. Uh, all of this, another one of these Iran's going to attack thing. Uh, that's another funny story. Why do I get the feeling that we're, 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 uh, we're in there uh, saying, okay, yeah, Israel probably shouldn't have done what it did with the consulate thing. But uh, here's here's what you can do, right? We're trying to figure out uh, something that Iran can do that that everybody will be okay with, right? That's kind. Of, I, I don't know that, but that's kind of what I've been. Hey, listen, you can't hit that. No, you know you can't do that. But but we'll let you do this instead, right? You know that that's kind of what it feels like. Uh, we told you about gold, uh, silver roaring here. Uh, the 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 currency market's kind of quiet today. But they're sending a message to you. Do you hear it yet? Right? You know I mean, the Dow, you know, it's at 38,000. You don't, you know, barely hear. But there's warning signs everywhere. The question is, are you going to sit on your hands or are you going to act? Get some of that exposure. Limit some of this exposure to Wall Street right now. It's a great idea. Check out our friends at Y Refi. Keep telling you, up to 10.25% return. Not correlated to Wall Street. Not correlated to the Fed. Not correlated to interest rates. Not correlated to Janet Yellen or Jay Powell or anybody else. InvestYRefi.com. That's the word. Invest the letter Y R E F Y dot com, or just call them at eight 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 Y Refi twenty four. Uh, the we did have uh, University of Michigan survey, and oh well, gosh, sh big shocker here, Jason. 
Inflation expectations took off again. Oh, wow, <laughs> Dave. Wow, I'm shocked. Oh, I, I can't believe it. Really? Oh, really? Boy. I thought they yeah. fixed it. Well... You know, I'm looking at silver, a leap day. Remember, we had a leap year. This is leap year. This is election year. Uh, silver was about 20. I, I forgot it was this low, 22.75. It's up $7 for just March and and part of April. That If you had a monster box of silver, your, your silver in that box is just, just by spot price went up $3,500. I mean, and, and I don't see where it's stopping. I don't, I don't know how fast it's going to keep going. I, I, don't, I don't think we can predict the speed, but I can, I can predict that it's going to keep going up. It's always going to keep going up. Yeah, it has some down days, but this this is not a down day type of situation we're looking at. So inflation is driving this show. It's These metals are, and, and the commodities, this is a commodities-driven rally. And, and uh, Joe, it, it, it's getting scarier by the minute, that little – visit by the secretary of the treasury janet yellen over to china and and how many times has biden and, and janet yellen gone over to the chinese and begged them for things just to get laughed out of the room and uh i think this is a reaction this is a, hey janet yellen this here's 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 uh here's here's what you get for your advice here yeah, goes up me, 70. yeah let me tell you right now janet yellen was not there for what the media media said she wasn't there warning them about russia or or, oh, my gosh, you're making too many solar panels. No, please don't do it. Stop. That's not why she was there. Have you figured it out yet? Huh? And, and here's the thing. This isn't the big move. People think it's a big move. This isn't the big move. This is the, the precursor to the, the big moves that... that all of us have talked about, right? We, you know, it's funny because gold's one of those things where, hey, we're gonna prepare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready. But I hope I'm wrong, right? I mean, that's that, that's kind of how, how you feel about it. It's kind of like a prepper, right? The end of the world's coming. I, I hope it doesn't, right? But but I'm gonna get ready. And here it is. This is just the start. You know, we talk about all the bad treasury auctions, right? Wait till they're really bad, right? Wait till they're terrible, right? That that We're not there yet. Now, and I've been speculating, listen, the inventory levels in, in the commodities world are, are just a mess. There is no supply. Uh, there's no extra supply of silver. There's no extra supply of gold. There's no extra supply of, of just about anything. The only thing there's extra supply of is natural gas, and that's only here because Biden doesn't want to ship it out anywhere, right? Everywhere else, right? Here's the funny part. It's actually going to hurt oil prices. By the way, did you see Phoenix? Did you see it? Have you seen it yet? Gas up another twenty cents. Yeah, four fifty four forty nine nine uh, on unleaded gas today. Yeah, congratulations. You thank California for that, by the way. Thanks a lot. Uh, wait, why? Oh well, one of the refiners has a problem. Right, one of the refiners has a problem. This is this is what the problem is. Anytime somebody's got a problem, there's a problem. There's been reports circulating. That several of the big gold mines out there may be drying up. Now, I don't know, but Jason, that's kind of what we've been hearing, right? That all of a sudden, hey, some of this supply that we were hoping to come isn't coming on top of everybody keeps buying. And it's not in the ETFs. Right. This isn't the paper. This is physical. How, how much record buying do central banks have to do before a gold mine gets exhausted? It's it's it, you know it's been going on for years, and so it's just it's just a, it's just mathematics. I mean I mean look at we have gold. Gold is at record highs for weeks now. Coming into today, before the you know, the, the massive price action, gold is at record level highs and it goes up two and a half percent. It's up two and a half percent from a record high level. That's two and a half percent. Gold is up. And it's at record highs before it did this today, and you got the markets down one percent. 
I mean, Joe, you know, let me let me echo some stuff that uh, you know. Try to re- try to remember way back to 2021. Uh, I, I live in a housing area. Joe's seen the housing area. Joe, Joe would be shocked because Joe hasn't been back to my housing area in a while. He'd be shocked to see what's going on there. Now, in 2021, you know, I bought my house late 2020, and the houses were going up. You know, one here, one there. And, you know, it, it was normal building going on in, in, a, in a, a projected growth area for, for a housing area. In 2021, it just kind of went like that. And, and then the inflation did start in 2021. But late in 2021, suddenly entire sections were just being slammed together. I mean, it was a sprint suddenly at the middle and late of 2021. It's like, what is going on? And then what happened was in 2022, the massive inflation came. And that's when we got to the Fed's year-over-year numbers of sevens and eights and nines. Joe, there's a section of this neighborhood that's being built, and it went from just kind of poking around in 2023 it, it this year it just expl- there's another it's almost like an entire section of neighborhood just going up all at once there's, there's a suddenly a, a lot more a lot more uh, uh, motivation or whatever these guys I, I I watch it you just watch it the speed of things it slowed down they, they weren't building houses as fast last year they just weren't you know this this is a, a multi-year project but la- you know, late 2021 bam they just went crazy all the way through 2022 building entire swaths these guys are very sensitive to inflation. These builders know that, hey, we better build this stuff now because six months from now it's going to be way more expensive. Let's, let's, let's hire more teams. Let's get this stuff in. Let's get it done now because – and if, if the stuff we're seeing in the price points in gold and silver are an indication, what, what is it going to cost for things six months from now? What, what is Christmas going to look like this year, Joe? It, it's, it's very scary because we've always said gold moves very, very quickly – it's not going to be a good uh, indication of what's going on. And that's what we're seeing, Joe. It, this, what is a loaf of bread going to cost in six months? What's a gallon of gas going to cost? What, what is a house going to cost? What, you know, what is, what is a, a set of tires for your car going to cost? You know, uh, I, I don't see anything but a really gray cloud uh, forming over in 2024. And how, many, how long have we been saying it, Joe? 2024. Bad stuff's getting ready to set up and happen. And whether it happens all this year or we get a little bit in 2025, it doesn't matter. You need to buy this stuff now. You need, if you've got it, and I know some guys don't got it. A lot of guys don't got it out there. But whatever you got, you know, I would I would break it off and get it into something. If you, for some reason you don't like gold and silver, you better get it in something. It's not safe in the banks just sitting there just being eroded every day. I right? Joe's been doing this a lot longer than me. I've been watching it for a while, but I've been, you know, into this about ten years, seriously selling gold and silver. And this, this is just 2011. There was, there was some. It rose really fast in 2011 when it, when it got overbought, but it wasn't moving like this, right, Joe? You're, you're saying you've, saw, you've told me all this week. It's like I just have never seen this. I've just have never seen this. I've just have never seen this. But we talk about it being a possibility. So it's like it's like I said. You know, you can get into a car wreck. You just don't think you're going to get into one until it happens, right, Joe? That, that's kind of what this feels like. You know, bad inflation, hyperinflation. Yeah, you talk about it. It's a possibility. But you don't believe it until it actually starts to happen, Joe. Well, you know, it, it, it's kind of like this, right? How do you go bankrupt? It's gradual at first. And then all of a sudden. And, and this, is, this is one of these uh, all of a sudden moments, right, that, that uh, it, it's not going backwards there's been a fundamental change it's been going on since the financial crisis i mean central banks as an example they've been buying gold since like 2006 every year it it, all as it's done is it just gets more and more a little more and a little more and a little more but we've seen a big fundamental change in the markets uh, this year, which is, hey, the the whole hope and, and everybody, you know, hoping and praying that somehow the the magic inflation fairy was gonna was gonna show up and allow for our central bank and our government to print unlimited amounts of money and somehow inflation was going to go down. It doesn't work that way. And I think all that's happened, Jason, really honestly, is everybody's just getting ready 
uh, for the fiat crisis that's coming. And it's coming everywhere. Right? And, and, and it, yep. we're just getting ready. Like I said, this isn't, you know, some people, oh, this is the big move. This isn't the big move. Believe me when I tell you, this isn't the big move. The yeah. big move comes when all of a sudden, right, they got to come out and say, hey, you know what? Uh, like Jason said, a loaf of bread's $30, right? Go, go to uh, M- McDonald's, right? Uh, yeah, the, the, the Big Mac meal is $30, right? That's going to be why? Because the dollar doesn't buy anything. We've seen this in countries, you know, you, you, Argentina and all these other places. You've seen it. It happened to Russia when the wall, you know, tear down the wall and all this stuff. Things that are real are going to be what has value. Look at housing. Housing is another great one to look at. Why? Because it defies logic, right? Housing sales suck, right? They're you're like 90s levels. Yet price keeps going up, right? Price keeps going up. And like Jason said, everybody wanted to fly in and buy all these houses because uh, I got a funny feeling they kind of knew, hey, it's going to get all, even more expensive to build a home here in the next six months. Patriot Radio. 800 951 Joe and Jason here on this Friday uh, as we've had another big move in the gold and silver markets uh, today. $5.00. Liberties. These are the older 1866 to 1907. I'm going to roll back the clock. So yesterday they were $675. Right now they're $685. But here's what we're going to do. 1 through 19 at $675. If you buy 20 of them or more, $670. You want to buy 50 or more? 665. So uh, you buy 50 or more, they'll actually be five dollars less uh, than they were yesterday at 800 951 And Jason, you know, it, it's one of those things uh, we, we, we keep saying it right. The, the longer you wait, the more you pay. Premiums are actually they're really good right now. I mean, outside, I will say this <clears throat> Silver Eagles are getting a little sketchy. And I just mean as far as uh, stock. Right now, uh, the 2024s are out of stock again. Uh, they have some back dates, but uh, outside of that, though, Jason, overall, premiums are really good right now. You're, you're actually, I know that gold's, ex, you know, I guess expensive to where it was eight weeks ago, but you're actually buying it at, at a really good price because premiums have been really good considering where they were, you know, like during COVID. Yeah, yeah, we get uh, we get those premiums coming up. Uh, there's going to be a flood of buyers. At some point during this rally in gold and silver prices, there's going to be a, a, a flood of customers at some point, and that will put pressure on the physical market even more, and, and then uh, the, the – Premiums will go up, and Joe, if, if we have twenty five hundred gold next week, uh, if that's where we're headed, uh, and the premiums were to go up, I mean, what do we be selling a twenty dollar live for? Like twenty nine hundred, twenty nine hundred, I think, right? Sounds about right. Twenty nine hundred dollars. So, so these five dollar lives is a, a great value. This is a great way to get in. And I'll just say this: well, I don't know what Joe's got in stock over there in Arizona, and I don't have a whole lot here, but. Uh, you, you, Get whatever you can get and get it fast. I would I would buy it and, and take possession of it as, as quickly as you can. I wouldn't I wouldn't wait around. It's just this is not the time to be waiting. I mean, think think about this, Joe. Uh, when I came, I joined you uh, in 2018. I talked that year and, and in 2019 about this is the good old days. This is the good old days. This is when you want to cash in. This is when years down the line, you're like, I remember buying 20s for 1,250 bucks in 2018. You know, I told that that was that was one of the first things I did when I was on the radio. I was like, yeah, I know it's getting ready to go up. I know I knew the next fake emergency was coming. Didn't know what it was, knew it was coming, and then boom, gold blew up to two thousand dollars in twenty twenty. 
all of 2022 and all of 2023, Joe, we've been saying, this is the good old days. This is a great time to buy. This is when you should be buying this stuff now because in years to come, you'll be able to say, I bought a $20 gold piece for $2,200 or $2,100. Okay, I bought it for $2,050. Uh, we're, we're close to $2,600. We're $2,500 to $2,600 on these coins and it's not stopping. It's just not stopping. So if, if you look at the price action, if, if a COVID emergency is any indication, that's about 40%. It's a 40%. If we're seeing the same thing, it's saying, just, let's just say it's, it resembles the same kind of action, 2,000 gold is 2,800 gold this year. That's 40%. I mean, it, it sure looks like this is another good old days is, is escaping us. It's not, we're not there yet. You guys have time, but it's it's all about uh, your situation. And uh, are you shaking? Are you worried? Oh, I'm going to buy it. It's going to go down. You know, the worst thing that happens, you buy gold and it goes down. You have an ounce of gold. You have enough to buy a cow. Regardless if gold goes up or down, you're buying a whole cow with that ounce. That, that's what you got. You, you you solidified your position. Who cares what the price action does on a day-to-day -day basis? It's, it's, it's going to go up and down. But uh, Joe, you got to you have to secure this stuff. You have to do it before it, this this rally keeps on going. And and here's the thing: uh, we've had many. There's many guys out there that have been prognosticating the last couple of years that we may be going on a, a multi-decade uh, gold uh, bull market, which means you know maybe it won't go up this fast forever. I don't foresee that at all. But gold going up every single year for 20 years in a row, it just won't stop. And Joe, I don't see why that can't happen because I don't see anything less than it sure looks like we're going to have real inflation of 7 or 8% as being the norm when all the dust settles up to this next explosion. Yeah, and, and, and it, it's, you know, frustrating uh, may be the word for a lot of people because, hey, wait a minute, you know, and I said this the other day, right? I, I thought we had more time. I thought we had more time. And I we don't have more time because here, here's the, the, the realities uh, are simple. The government is out of control. Spending is out of control. I don't think people really appreciate how bad it really is and, and how uh, impossible these levels are. Could you imagine if we were only running a trillion and a half deficit or a trillion dollar deficit? I mean, what would the what what would happen to the economy, right? And this is this is the big problem, right? Because uh, the, the, everything's been so hyped up, and 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 because listen, it's been hyped up, and this is the part people don't get: the banks are broke. They're broke. The system. This is what fiat money does, right? It goes to zero. That's what it's supposed to do. We live in this debt monetary system, and it's broke. They broke it during the financial crisis. It was broke then, and guess what they decided to do? Let's paper over it, and when we go broke the next time, let's make sure that the depositors have to pay for it. And that's what's coming. Whether, you, you know, we can talk about national debt, we can talk about uh, people buying gold and, and central banks uh, buying gold and all this other stuff. But here's the realities. The banks are broke. It's just that simple. And now, because all that they want to do is print, now we have inflation that's not going away. There's only one way it goes away. And I keep saying it over and over and over again. The only one way it goes away. A crash. The bursting of the bubble. And believe me, when the bubble bursts, the banks go with it. It's just that simple. You decide. Prepare. Don't prepare. You know, we, we've been telling you, really, step by step, all year long, exactly what's going to happen. And, and again, like I said, I don't know, oh, this was the big one. No. Uh -huh. No, no. Listen.
big moves are going to be. When we when, when go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand, then we'll talk about big moves. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Joe and Jason, Patriot Radio News Hour on this Friday, and I guess you know. If you want to believe that Janet Yellen was uh, over there in China to talk about solar panels, right? Okay. Sure. And, uh, you know, I I was uh, born at night and, well, inflation isn't just the endless printing of money. And you know what? Gas prices just didn't go up another 20 cents today. It just didn't happen. That's not why she was there. You do know that, right? I'm not going to say it. But again, the situation is pretty clear. The house of cards is a house of debt. That's all it's been. And now think about it. Let's, let's just think about it here. Okay, housing... You know, people are, are, are paying the mortgage, and we got everybody, you know, in at a 3% mortgage and this and that, but uh, commercial real estate's dead. Uh, the people can't pay, right? We've got record non-payment on credit cards now, right? Auto loans, right? The, the, the repo man uh, is out there working overtime, right? The eviction notices have been piling up. But but don't worry, right? Somehow the, the the banks are fine, right? I mean, no, that's not what's happened. And 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 now on top of it, right? Hey, listen, here's the problem. As far as the Chinese go, right? They're like, hey, we got to sell our debt too, right? The Japanese, right? We got to sell our debt everywhere. It's debt everywhere. When the debt bomb blows. You don't want to be unprepared. I mean, it's just its just that simple. People haven't figured it out. Like I said, you know what I said the other day? Yeah, no one's afraid yet because they don't know what's happening, right? They, 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 they don't want to, well, you know, Wall Street's still 38000 I mean, it's not forty, but it's thirty eight. I mean, come on, it's pretty good, right? But yeah, all right, AI, AI, AI. How many times have they done that to us? Right, and hype it up and blow it out of proportion, and then it ends up right. A couple of companies survive it all, and everybody else goes bust. Five dollar pre nineteen thirty three, and really eighteen sixty six to nineteen oh seven. Five dollar liberties, one through nineteen six seventy five. Twenty or more six seventy. Fifty or more. 665. That's cheaper than they were yesterday. And right now, listen, gold's only up 35. It's been up like 70. So so consider yourself like silver. I know. Oh my gosh, out there. Jason, silver's only up 70 cents right now. I mean that that's that's the things that we're talking about. And and this is something where what makes it truly different. Truly different is we're heading into this bubble. You know, we called this the year of chaos, and it won't matter, believe me. doesn't matter if Donald Trump or Joe Biden or whoever is going to be the next president. It's going to have no bearing. Matter of fact, uh, I truly believe that the big pain comes in 2025. That's just my opinion. Because that's when you really, the next big leg up in debt for the United States is 2025. We're going we're gonna to be talking about $3 trillion and hoping it's not $4 trillion. That That's where we're going to be at. And, and you better understand what the real ramifications are. And right now they've got people sleepwalking. They, 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 they uh, you know, New York Community Bank, let's not forget what, that, that just ha- Oh, no, it's fine. Steve Mnuchin, he's going to take care of it, James. That, that's going to fix it. Right. And in 2020, the market crash that was uh, circling around the COVID emergency, it, it just went straight down and went came, right straight back up because of all the printing. It, that's not normal. 
That's not normal what happened. Uh, the, the housing crash, that was 2007, 2008, 2009. That's where most of the damage was, was over years. So what we may be looking at here is is uh, staging for a huge event, and it might not happen. The, you know, the, the big damage might not happen until 2025. Listen to what we're saying. We tell you this is the good old days of buying the last couple of years. It was. It was a great time to buy. Not as good now, I guess you could say that. Yeah, it costs more. But it's not going to stop. And if, if we're seeing a bull run that's going to really push really hard, uh, this is going to happen over the course of a couple of years. It's going to be uh, extremely painful for some. Some people are going to benefit from it. Uh, this is why we try to get you guys to move yourself into a more beneficial situation. And what I say, Joe, earlier that, you know, silver from, you know, $22 to $29, you know, it's just since the end of February, which basically March and part of April, your box of silver eagles, if you have one, is that's up thirty five hundred dollars in in six weeks, right, Joe? That's incredible move. That's incredible movement. Gold, the same thing. You were flirting around at two thousand. It was just kind of languishing. We, we I was talking to Joe this morning. We were so happy that gold was above two thousand in December and just stayed there. It's like okay, we're here. It's here and it's staying here. And then it didn't stay there very long, did it, Joe? In the last seven weeks, it went from two thousand four dollar gold on February fourteenth, and look where it is now two thousand four hundred and a bunch on top. It's it's what, volatility what, what right now. We're seeing some volatility now, but it's moving. What what what, what, did, what did I say? Gold's finally comfortable above two thousand, right? It, it, the next leg uh, is upon us, but it, it's for all the wrong reasons. Right, and and this is I think this is the part that's got some people uh, confused. Actually, has me really worried because the, the the crisis hasn't happened yet. I think a lot of people would understand it, right, if the crisis had already happened. Uh, but Jason might tell you, gold is the leading indicator in all of this. Patriot Radio News Hour, final segment for the week. 800 final segment here on this Friday. Uh, gold 2390 has been as high as 24, well, 2430. Uh, the highs today, silver right at 29. So just skip 28 altogether uh, this week. And it's been as high. Listen, silver moving got to 2990. So almost touched 30, had a little bit. We'll see uh, how long the pullback lasts. As we know, seems like the rally heavy on Fridays. $5 liberties, 1866 to 1907, $675. 20 or more, 670 50 or more, 665 at 800 Nine five one zero five nine two, and this is a story that I hate to see because uh, it just means they're getting ready to crack down even more on us. Morgan Stanley under pressure as the Wall Street Journal is reporting multiple federal le- uh, regulators are probing the bank's investment and in financial services on how it vents wealthy clients who are at risk of laundering money. According to sources, the SEC, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, and the Treasury Department are investigating the wealth management arm of Morgan Stanley. And and they've already, you know, it's so funny, these banks, they all do it. They all get caught, and they, oh, we're sorry, pay some money. But here's why I hate it. Because you know what comes down from this stuff? More regulation on you and I, right? When you think about, hey, why can't I do a pay to the order on a check anymore? Why can't I do a third-party check anymore because of this? Why, why can't I put money in my granddaughter's account or my grandson's account because of this? Right? Why can't I uh, go to the bank and, and ask them, hey, I'd like to have $5,000 in cash, please. And they, 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 they send a probe up my backside. Right? Because of this. Right? This is, 
this is why, and they use this as a front, Jason, to, to even come up with even more restrictions. And I'm sure after this probe is over, get ready, the banks are going to crack down even harder now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to the bank is is uh, <laughs> quite the adventure nowadays. You never I'm know how they're going to the gonna dentist pay. anymore. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but because uh, I guess it, you know that's actually a good analogy because they they both ask a lot of very personal questions. You know, especially the dentist, you have to sign up, you have to tell them your whole health history and everything about you, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's that's it's it's a good it's a good analogy, Joe, because going to the bank. You know, remember you know, remember you could go to the bank. You can you know, for some you know, you can have an aunt or not, or a, a niece or a nephew or somebody. You can go and and deposit a little money into their account for a birthday or or something. And now you show up there and it's like, we aren't going to let you do that. Well, do you have ID? Okay. Well, you know, I mean, can you can you even? You're not do on that account. You can't put money yeah, in there. You, you can't put you money know, in hey, there. About- it's like, man, Bank of America now, Billy. Well, you talk about people that don't know how to forecast gold. Well, I guess they're getting with it. They're now uh, raising their gold forecast again. <laughs> uh, this time now saying gold, $3,000 by 2025. 800-951-0592. Take the time. Add to your portfolios. Be smart here. These banks aren't as safe as they're trying to lead you to believe. Patriot Radio News Hour, we're wrapping up. Jason and I are going to come back with the half empty cup. We'll be 